And I'm feeling so joyful, Lance, and it's all because of this system that you have. It's amazing. Yeah, no, thank, you. Thank, thank you for being amazing and working so hard and always having great attitude and, uh, um, you know, just uh, yeah, just having a, an open mind and uh, and giving your very best effort. In September, I was lost. Mm-hmm. I was searching and Googling and looking for something, someone who could help me, help me really build my self-esteem mm-hmm. and it was your reviews. You know, I went on Google then I saw you on Facebook. I, I listened or read a lot of the information that was out there in your program. Just I gravitated towards it just because of the reviews, because of what I was reading. It's like there's something here that drew me to it. It mm-hmm. drew me to, you know, just the title, refocus on happiness. Mm-hmm. I wanted to have happiness in my life. And I've been through the therapies. I've, I've gone through many different counselors and spent a lot of money doing that too. And this was one of the best trips I've ever taken, you know, and I, I say it is a trip because it is a trip. It is. Um, And it was the best investment and the best trip I ever took because I was skeptical at first because I had been through so many different therapists Mm -hmm. and, you know, counseling. And it's like, Oh gosh, just, just another program that I'm going to try. But I put my best foot forward, and you did. You by did. golly, this was the unique one that truly turned my life around, changed my life, and I get to live with happiness, yeah. and I get to refocus on that happiness every day. Yeah, life's not always going to be great, mm-hmm. but it's, it's it's comforting to know that I always have a, your program and my program, I'll call it now. It's my program to this call back true. on. This is true. Right? Yep. But, uh, but years of searching and, and, you know, the breaking point back in September on Labor Day was a relationship that just kind of started to crumble and it did crumble. Mm-hmm. And that pushed me into this program to change my life forever. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for all you do. Mm-hmm. to really encourage and inspire me to, and to really know that this is something that I can succeed at. You know, I was doubtful at first, but you just, you, you never ending support your encouragement, your guidance as to how to work the program mm-hmm. was astounding. I mean, full commitment from your end you know, into this investment. And it is the best trip I've ever been on. I like your choice of words. So let me ask you here. And I always like, I always like to uh, emphasize this here. Michelle, was this easy? <laughs> was this uh, no. easy? No. no. To anyone listening, this is not easy. And, and I think it's really great that you, I mean, I'll never forget some of our conversations because to me, they were memorable because I remember where I was at. I remember where I was at. I had a lot of stuff going on. And I just remember being in a space where, you know, you and I had to work a little harder together to really um, connect a few dots. So you could really get the most out of it. And so anyone listening here, you know, uh, do not think for a fucking second. This was easy. I, you know, Michelle and I worked really hard together. We did. Uh, we worked together even beyond the, the core, you know, Q&A calls. It wasn't just the like core calls. And, uh, you know, I always like to, I always take pride in like, I'll do what I need to do to get that person to where they go as long as they follow instructions and they give their best effort, which you always did. You always had a great attitude. You always gave your very best effort. I never had to repeat myself. And that, and that's what always makes a great uh, co-creation. Um, but because you always had a great attitude, uh, uh, open-mindedness, and you did the work, that's why we succeeded so well together. It is a workout. It's not a magic trick. So, um <laughs> So, uh, so let me ask you a question just for context for other people, you know, if you were going to rank the, the, the level of that, that period was for you, like that in terms of challenging, what, what number would you say it is as far as the most challenging periods in your life, what ranking do you think you would give it? If you just kind of want to throw something out there just for context for people who are going through a really hard time that think that they're, that what they're going through is insurmountable. You know, it's really nice when they know like, Hey, you know, I, a lot of people do this here. They're in a really challenging spot too. In, in your life, what do you think you would have ranked objectively the, chal- the, the period you were going through before you and I connected? 
on a scale um, from, from one to 10, like top 10 would be a top 10 most challenging um, times of your life. This was a 10 plus. I mean, it was where I was in September was a 10 plus and challenging. I mean, the, the, this program is challenging and a commitment to not only really be make dedicate yourself to this program. Mm -hmm. However, the most challenging part of it too is going through it. Mm -hmm. You know, while, while you're there to support, gosh, 110% of the way, I found through the program, the emotional challenge to continue to climb mm -hmm. was a commitment within myself that I cried myself through it at times. Sometimes they were joyful cries because it's that that emotion that really surfaces up through this program was something that I have never experienced. And that's where the challenge is. I mean, 10 plus, you know, when I started this program, even through the program, it continued to come down, but it was fluctuating because as we could, you know, because I would call upon you, you know, you're my lifeline, like, okay, I've got this challenge. How can I get through this? Mm -hmm. So that those challenges were, it didn't go from 10 to one, you know, in a week over this six week period or however long that you're going through this program, it's an up and down climb mm -hmm. until you really, when you, when you're done with the program and you finish and you're fully committed to it, mm -hmm. that's where you continue to climb that emotional ladder. You can stay in that powerful state knowing that you're going to, it's still going to be a climb for the rest of your life. However, I don't think I'll ever get below a seven. That's, it's impossible. As long, no. as, long as you do your, as long as you do your tools each day. I've, I mean, I've been doing this for years. Yes. I've, I've never had below a 70% day. I might have a hard, I might have a challenging 70% day from time to time, but it's never below that. And it's a different workout at that point because mm -hmm. Going back to the old identity that I had, I would never, I, like, I never had the tools to say, okay, what can I do to help myself get back to that powerful state? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. And now I have the tools as to know what to do to really look at things differently, have a different perspective, put things into perspective and continue to feel joy mm -hmm. even through the challenge. Yeah, the bonus for me, was I thought that this was going to be more one-on-one -on -one between you and me mm -hmm. and you working with me one-on-one -on -one, only, you know, listening to my life story, my challenges and how you're going to help me. The bonus was also being able to listen to other real life examples mm -hmm. with the other mm -hmm. people who you, you know, in that small group setting and you, you really like, it's like, I'm not alone. And mm -hmm. you can tell me that talking one-on-one -on -one, but when you're sitting and you're seeing and you're hearing mm -hmm. other people's challenges that are similar to yours, mm -hmm. it helps you. It really helps to you to understand that you are not alone mm -hmm. in overcoming the challenges that life will continue to throw at us. And, you know, because sometimes when you feel alone, you feel like, oh, gosh, something's wrong with me. And that was such a bonus to, to really hear other people's challenges who were similar to mine. And it was inspiring and encouraging. Like they got through it. If they can do it, I can do it. You certainly can. Yeah. It was true for them. It can absolutely be true for you too. Yeah. Right. That's, that's one of the best parts about it too. It's like you, you get to see people week over week improve. And, and, and this is good for anyone listening here. When I say improve, there's two types of improvements. There's the, where you see someone doing clearly better, feeling better one week over the next, but sometimes, as you know, sometimes people have challenging weeks. And when you're in the midst of that challenging week or that workout, you're not having those higher highs per se, but you're surprising yourself how much better you're getting past things. And that's the victory. That's the objective measurement. And when you see people who are having a hard week, because they have a lot of challenges, which I'm not a fucking Oracle, so I don't, I can't stop the challenges. <laughs> but when you see people that on those weeks where they're doing really good, especially considering whatever news, whatever's going on, it's really inspiring. Like, wow, they're just rocking and rolling, even though, you know, whatever they have going on. And so when you see that from those two vantage points, it's, 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 they're lighting the path for you. You're like, wow, this person's on week three, mm -hmm. on week one, 
I can see how well they're doing already. I can see how much better they're handling things. And they don't even seem like they're the same person anymore. And you see enough of those people doing that. It's like, I have a human brain. They have a human brain. There's clearly that, 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 um, that potential in me as well. And that's really, and that's why this is a, is an experience because you're doing it with other people as well. But yeah, you know, listening here, even though they're group calls are not, you know, we're not, I mean, the, the structure of the program is not one-on-one it's in a group. I still, it's still essentially a one-on-one experience because on the yes. calls, when you and I are talking, it's, it's just you and I, you know, where you're getting everything you need and everyone else is getting what they need, but we're all doing it together, which really makes it even better. And that does me, I have faith in, in this program mm-hmm. and I had hope that I hoped for the best mm-hmm. and love is I rediscovered myself mm-hmm. and I fell in love with myself yep. and I will stay in love with myself and I will treat myself better all because of this program. And, and those three symbols, faith, hope, and love will always circle me, you know, ground me back to. Mm-hmm. My daily practice, my, I call it my daily prayer and practice now. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's exactly what it is. And you'll talk about finding themselves. And I might mention this to you before in another call, when people say, oh, I need to find myself. Mm-hmm. I don't, I need to find myself. That's a phrase people use a lot. What that, what that really means is what that, what that person's really telling you in a practical sense is they used to feel good. They don't know how to feel good anymore. They don't yeah. know how to get back to that baseline of feeling good. So when they say finding myself, what they really mean to say is, I don't know how to feel good anymore. I'm lost. I don't know how to do it. But when you have that consistently, which you have, and you'll never lose again, is when you have that, you're, guess what? You're found. That's all that is. But that's really, when, when people say that, that's really what they, what, that's really what they mean. I they, said that so yeah. many times. Yeah. Like I need to find me. I, and I ran, you know, here, like I'm, people have, you know, continue to ask me like, Michelle, you know, because really even the energy stealers, you know, I can really <laughs> stop a conversation yeah. that I would have before had got really sucked into and it would steal my joy. But I lovingly and respectfully cut that conversation, you know, and, and shift that conversation. And I now have the confidence and the approach to do it in a more loving way. Wonderful. Yep. It's step by step. Yeah. Cause, cause that too, you know, as part of rediscovering, you know, when we're reintroducing Michelle to the world, yep. I, 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 there is a shift in me. I feel it biologically. It's just, and I, it, it's, a, it's just, I, I never experienced it a program like this before again thinking about all of the therapists that i've been to that have given me different different suggestions this by far is the one that truly works (laughs) and uh, i'm just so grateful that i landed upon it and i stuck with it i gave it my best 200 percent effort Mm -hmm. and payoff is priceless. Wonderful. Um, I, I think I have one last question. I'm just cur- I'm curious about this one too here. At yeah. what point, you know, I know you took a leap of faith. That's what everyone does. I, I get that. At what point in the program would you say you crossed the threshold where you where you were like, this is going to work? How long did it take you before you're like, this is going to, this is, I, I'm, I'm, you cross that threshold of like, this is going to work. How long did it take you before you, you got there? Yeah, I think I, think I crossed that probably after the first full week Mm -hmm. because I felt something I I was getting through challenges a little bit easier not didn't jump like you said you you said you're not going to go from zero to 100 (laughs) right (laughs) but I felt that incremental (laughs) shift and it's like and then you know after that first week and knowing that I was doing something different and I was feeling something different I knew that this had to have a positive outcome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, and it did. <laughs> yeah, just curious about that. And um, yeah, no it's, no, it's, no, it's wonderful. Michelle, thank you so much. Oh, this is really great. I mean, I don't know if there's anything else you want to say that you think it might be relevant to somebody. <laughs> but assume, if you do, great. If not, I'm, I'm pretty good. Do you have anything else you think it might be relevant to somebody that's considering doing this program? I mean, uh, or comes across me on Facebook and it's like, this sounds too good to be true. <laughs> anything, yeah. anything you think be worth saying or otherwise we're, I think we're good. 
I just want to say, no, I just want to say to anyone out there who is really at the lowest point that they've been to in their life and they're looking for a change, this is the program that can trigger such a positive change in your life so that you can enjoy life. Mm -hmm. You can, and and it's going to sound odd, but you'll learn to enjoy the challenges. Mm -hmm. And at first I know I was somewhat skeptical, skeptical because there's a lot of, lot of, you know, a lot of programs out there nowadays as to, you know, how to get over your ex and how to do this. (laughs) And, and this is one that really, it's it's very unique in your approach. I think it's the way, Lance, that you really partner up with your clients mm-hmm. and you're in it with them. You know, mm-hmm. you know, you're you're truly you're in it with them. You're getting into, you know, into their challenges with mm-hmm. them. And you can tell that you're emotionally connected to each of your clients because mm-hmm. you listen and you really provide guidance that is spot on all the time so you know if if anyone is looking for a program to invest in this is the one because believe me i've bought other internet programs Mm -hmm. (laughs) and i still have the pdf files for that but this is truly unique in that you walked us well, me and the rest of your clients through this program, step mm-hmm. by step by step. And that's really the reward that I received as a client of yours at the end of the day. And I'm truly grateful. 